Hello friends, welcome back to Zero Math. Can you tell me what is the LCM of the numbers you can see on the screen in less than three seconds? Well, you're right. In today's session, I'm going to explain you the concept and the fastest trick to find out the LCM of any such numbers. The only condition is you have to watch the full video without miss for the complete understanding. So without wasting time, let's get started. So the first thing first, let's understand the concept of LCM. So here L stands for lowest, C stands for common and M stands for multiple. These words are quite explanatory to understand the concept. So let's understand it with an example. Let's try to find out the LCM of 3, 4 and 6. Here letter M stands for multiple and multiple means the multiplication table so let's note down the multiplication table of 3 4 and 6 so here we go with the table of 3 4 and 6 now look at the next word that is common so let's find out the common numbers from this table so common numbers are 12 24 if you extend this, it will be 36 will be the next common number and so on. Now, look at the next word that is lowest. So, out of all these common numbers, which is the lowest number? So, obviously, the lowest number is 12. So, which means the LCM of 3, 4 and 6 is 12. Now, let's understand the thumb rule of LCM. The LCM is always greater than or equal to the highest number among the given numbers. The reason behind this is the LCM is obtained by writing the multiplication table and identifying the lowest common multiple. For example, if you look at this number 3, 4 and 6, the highest number is 6. So if I write the multiplication table of 6, definitely the LCM cannot be less than 6. It has to be always greater than 6 or 6. So in this case, the LCM is 12. Let's solve some LCM problems now. Let's find out the answer or the LCM of 4, 6, 24 and 96. If you solve this using the factorization method, it is definitely going to take some time. This method is good at the school level. However, in competitive exam, you must think differently. If you look at this number, I can straight away note down the answer as 96. I'll tell you the reason why. So what I did, I first figure out what is the largest number. We know the LCM is always going to be equal to or greater than the largest number that is 96. Then what I did, I tried to find out this 96 is divisible, completely divisible by how many numbers. So 96 is completely divisible by 4. So I will cancel it out. The reason is, if I try to find out the LCM of 96 and 4, we know the LCM is going to be 96 because 96 comes into table of 4. So similar way, 96 is completely divisible by 6 as well. So I will cancel it out. It is completely divisible by 24 as well. So my answer is going to be 96. So if the largest number is completely divisible by other number, then obviously your answer is going to be the largest number. Let's figure out the Next problem. So here you can see the largest number is 90. Let me check like 5 is com uh, 90 is completely divisible by 5. It is completely divisible by 15. So I will cancel it out. It is completely divisible by 45 as well. So obviously my answer is going to be 90. Without even second thought, I can write down my answer. Let's solve the next example. So here again I will identify the largest number that is 72. We can see 72 is completely divisible by 6, 12. And 18. So I will note down my answer as 72 directly. Very easy, isn't it? Let's bring some variation to the problems now. Let's figure out the LCM of 8, 4, 12, and 16. So identify the biggest number that is 16. Now find out by how many numbers 16 is completely divisible. So it is completely divisible by 8, it is completely divisible by 4. So cancel it out. 
So the number remaining are 12 and 16. So we need to find out the LCM of 12 and 16 now. In such situation, what we are going to do, we will write the table of 16. So 16 into 2 is 32. Check whether 32 is completely divisible by 12. No. So write down the next table. So 16 into 3 is 48. So 48, is it completely divisible by 12? Yes, it is. So I will cancel out 12 and yes, 48 is going to be my LCM. So let's take another example, 6, 12, 30 and 15. So the biggest number is 30. 30 is completely divisible by 6. It is completely divisible by 15. However, it is not completely divisible by 12. So what I will do? We will again write table of 60. Table of 30. So 30 into 2 is 60. So 60 is completely divisible by 12. So I will cancel it out and 60 is going to be my answer. Easy, isn't it? Let's take next one. Find out the largest number from the given numbers. That is 32. 32 is completely divisible by 4 and 16. So let's cancel it out. So now you can see we have two numbers remaining and out of these two number, one number is prime. So in such situation, what we are going to do, we'll simply multiply these two numbers to get answer, which is 224. The reason is, we know the property of prime number. The prime numbers are the numbers which are divisible by 1 or the number itself. So there is no need to write down the multiplication table of 32 and find out the common multiples between 32 and 7. If there is a prime number, then simply multiply two numbers to get the LCM. That's a concept you need to remember. Now let's figure out the next one like 5, 7, 14 and 35. So here you can see there is a prime number. But don't get confused here because the first rule you are going to apply is you are going to identify the biggest number that is 35. And this 35 is completely divisible by 7 as well as 5. So 7 is out of picture now. Now let's figure out the LCM of 14 and 35. So write down the table of 35. 35, 2 into, 35 into 2 is 70. So 70 is completely divisible by 14. So answer is 14. You can solve it in another way as well. So 14 and 35, I can represent it as 7 is a common factor and 2 and 5. So 2 into 5 is 10. So 7 into 10 is equal to 70. So this is another way we can find out the answer. So it's up to you which one you are going to use. Let's increase the complexity now. Let's find out the LCM of this number. So you can see the largest number here is 34. So let's check 34 is divisible by which number. So it is divisible by 17. So cancel it out. Now the rest of the numbers are 18 and 6. So 34 is not divisible by these numbers. So what we can do, we can find out the second largest number that is 18. Let's try to solve 18 and 6 separately. So 18, we can see it's completely divisible by 6. So I will cancel it out because the LCM of 18 and 6 will be 18. So now there are only two candidates that is 18 and 34. So let's find out the LCM of 18 and 34. To find it out, it's quite difficult to remember the table. So in that case, what I will do, I'll simply uh, take the common factor that is 9 times 2 is 18 and 17 times 2 is 34. So 17 into 9 is 153 times 2, it is equal to 306, which is my LCM. Let's solve the next one in the similar way. So here the largest number is 40. So 40 is divisible by 5 and rest, it is not divisible by rest of the number. So let's try to solve the other numbers. So the second largest number is 24. See, the 24 is divisible by 6, so I will cancel it out. So 17 is the next number, but it is prime. So we have to consider 24, 40 and 17 to find out the LCM. So here we can resolve 24 and 40 because both are having some common factors. So we can here use the multiplication method. So 40 times 2 is 80. 40 times 3 is 120. So yes, 120 is divisible by 24 as well. So LCM of 40 and 24 will be 120. So I will note it down and 17 I will take as it is. So let's find out the LCM of 120 and 17. That is going to be our answer. Since 17 is a prime number, there is no need to think. Simply multiply these two numbers to get the answer. So 120 into 17 is 2040, which is our answer. Friends, this is an exercise for you. Find out the LCM of the given numbers and write the answer into the comment section. I hope friends you like this video. 
please do not forget to subscribe our channel and keep in touch with us for more videos like this thank you